Today I'm going to make another sourdough discard recipe and I'm going to be making sourdough discard banana muffins. Discard is a good ingredient to use in baked goods like muffins because discard doesn't have the same rising power as a mature sourdough starter. So flatbreads, pizza bases, muffins, and other baked goods are well suited to be made using discard. And by adding discard to a recipe, you're avoiding wasting the flour and water that is usually thrown away as you build up a starter. So to make the sourdough discard banana muffins, I'm going to combine one and a half cups of all-purpose flour, one teaspoon of baking soda, one teaspoon of baking powder, and a half teaspoon of salt. In a separate bowl, I'm gonna mash up two ripe bananas and add to that one cup of coconut sugar. Then I'm going to add two eggs. a teaspoon of vanilla extract, and a half cup of soft, unsalted butter. Once that's all combined, I'm going to pour in a half cup of sourdough discard, as well as one tablespoon of maple syrup. I'm going to fold in the dry ingredients to the wet ingredients until everything is just combined and then pour the mixture into my muffin tin. I am going to slice up some banana and put the pieces of banana on top of a few of the muffins. Then I'm just going to bake these muffins for about 10 minutes in an oven that has been preheated to 350 degrees Fahrenheit or 180 degrees Celsius. Now there are lots of additions that you could possibly add to these muffins. I was tempted to add about a half cup of dark chocolate chips to the muffin batter to make a dark chocolate chip banana muffin. You could also add nuts to the batter, so about a half cup of whatever nut you would want. Walnuts, pecans, and pumpkin seeds would all taste great. You could even roast them in advance to give them a deeper flavor before adding them to the batter. You could add about two tablespoons of a creamy peanut butter into the batter to create a banana peanut butter muffin, or to create a more autumnal muffin, you could add about two or three tablespoons of pureed roasted pumpkin to the batter to make it more of a pumpkin banana muffin. Having some toasted pumpkin seeds on top of that muffin would be delicious. I hope you enjoy making these and for now thank you so much for stopping by. I make two new videos every week sharing what I learned about simplifying food, self-care, and consumption in the modern world. So subscribe if that's of interest and I'll speak to you in the next Documenting Simple Living video.